Now, now you personally, where did you grow up? I grew up on the east side, Glenwood, Decatur, you know what I'm saying? East Atlanta, Boulder Crest, motherfucking. But I didn't stay on Boulevard, I didn't stay on Simpson, you know what I'm saying? I didn't grow up in the whole Atlanta, really. Everybody know me. If you don't, you ain't from this city, you know what I'm saying? So. Now, uh, at what age did you start getting really mixed up with the street shit? Shit, I say about my whole life, really, you know what I'm saying? My daddy smoked dope, so he was a little goddamn J. So I always used to see like him doing little crackhead shit. That's how I knew what crack was. And then, you know what I'm saying, when a nigga, when it, really when a nigga got in that gray way, like, man, I, I want them new shoes that Audi spoiled that motherfuckers got. That's when a nigga start jumping in the street trying to, you know what I'm saying, hustle, sell some little weed. So it's really been my whole life, really, since I was born, you know what I'm saying? I've been involved with the street. But hands on, I say about 13, 14. Okay. Now, now, in your songs, you talk about being a blood. Right. Like, like how old were you when you first started getting into that? Oh, uh, shit. I don't even know, man. Probably about 19. But I've been 21 my whole life. That was our game, you know what I'm saying? This blood shit just hit Atlanta not too long ago. It was really like a big wave of, you know what I'm saying, everybody getting in gangs, crip, blood, and all that shit. So that's when that shit happened. But I've been 21 my whole life. That's our gang. Like, that's some shit we started. That's our neighborhood. So that's what I've been. The blood shit really just my family blood, you know what I'm saying? So that's how that happened. Like, like, what do you think brought all the all the Crips and Bloods into Atlanta? Because originally it was some L.A. shit, and it started to move around. You heard it, you know, it hit New York, like I think in like the '90s or so. Like, like, what caused the, the move into Atlanta? I don't, I don't fucking know. I mean, it's always it's two hoods in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of them was Crip, one of them was Blood. You know what I'm saying? And then the shit just spread it out, and then you know. Like, I don't know. I don't know how that shit happened. The same way LA, LA migrated and made, they really the whole America got down Crippin' Blood. It just probably hit Atlanta last, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I can't really explain because I don't really give a fuck about that type shit. But. I mean, do you think that once, once dudes in Atlanta started claiming Crips and Bloods, things got worse? No, nah, because niggas ain't just out here banging like, oh, he a Crip. We're going to kill him. It ain't really like that. It's really just on some niggas just repping what they rep. You know what I'm saying? Just like some hood shit, like like no plug. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas will be Crip. Niggas will be no plug. Niggas will be Ninth War. Niggas will be PDE. Niggas be Boulder Craig. Niggas be, you know what I'm saying? It's just a whole bunch of shit to claim. It ain't really like we out here just killing niggas because they Crips. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot of Crip partners. A lot of them, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of Crip partners. Like, when I'm in L.A., I go fuck with the Crips. Like, shitty, you know what I'm saying? Baby, you all them folk. That's who I be fucking with, you know what I'm saying? So, ain't no no shit like that. You know, be, being involved in, in the type of shit you, you were involved in, like, what do you think was, what was the most serious thing you ever went through? Shit, when I got hit up, when I got shot, that was probably the most crazy. I, it's been a lot of crazy shit, but... Getting shot was probably the most like, oh shit, situation, you know what I'm saying? Then my best friend died when I got shot, so that's that's probably the craziest, you know what I'm saying, shit that just happened. Like, what was the what was the situation about you over you getting shot? Um, I don't even know, you know, I ain't even speak on that, but you know what I'm saying, it just shit happened. Where did you get hit? Uh, my hand, my neck, my uh, arm, my finger and my collarbone. So you got hit four times? See. So, so getting shot, you know, you could, you could get hit in the arm and the leg, but once you start getting hit in the neck, I mean, you're, you're, you're right there. Like when, when, you, when you felt yourself get hit in the neck, well, what really went through your head? This nigga gonna die, you know what I'm saying? And nigga just went to busting. I grabbed his gun and started shooting him with his gun. You know what I'm saying? And you know it was what it was. And shit, I'm still here, I ain't go to jail. R.I.P. to my brother, you know what I'm saying? Pussy niggas really tried to ambush a nigga and sneak, you know what I'm saying? Shoot a nigga from behind. And you know, shit, shit happened, man. But it is what it is, it come with this street shit, so. I mean, after, after you got shot that many times, 
Like, what, what really changed? I turned into a savage, man. I got on that bullshit. I was goddamn trying to kill everybody, man. Everybody. If you, a nigga motherfucking look at me wrong, B, he's gonna die, B, you know what I'm saying? Anybody who owes me money, B. Nigga got on that real goddamn paid and full shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That why nigga know not to play with this shit, man. Slaughter Gang, PD, Night Ward, no plug. You know, we run this motherfucking city. This is our city. I'm gonna say that for the, the record. So, you know, the world can see this. Atlanta, when your ass come to Atlanta, you got to check in with one of us or your ass is banned, man. All right? Uh, what does the cross on your forehead signify? It's a knife. Oh, it's a knife? It's a dagger. My little brother Tay Man had and got killed. And me and we had to start some little shit, a little click, you know what I'm saying? And the, the, the logo for the click was the daggers, you know what I'm saying? And he had, we were supposed to get it right there, you know, in between your thumb and your um, index, like right there. But he hadn't just went and got the shit in his, he got down forehead. So I'm like, what the fuck, this nigga crazy hell. Then he ended up getting killed. So shit, I was like, shit, fucking, I'm finna go do it for him, you know what I'm saying? That when I went and got that. So, so the the tattoo is a, a tribute to your to your brother who got killed. Right, right, my little brother Tay man, R.I.P. That's deep. That's definitely deep. So, at what point did you start rapping? Shit, right after Tay man got killed. Could Tay, Johnny, that's my best friend. He got killed on my birthday. That was October 22nd, 2013. Right. Then my up uh, my little brother Tay man he got killed March nineteenth two thousand fourteen you know what I'm saying so we're really like man fuck this shit these niggas dying back to back I'm finna try and do some new shit so that when I started rapping okay now you end up working with with Zaytoven and Metro Boomin right okay how'd you hook up with them um you know just fucking around man fucking with Sunny really Sunny Sunny really opened the doors for for me. With this rap shit, like to be honest, like he really got down, introduced me to everybody, helped me record, you know what I'm saying? He helped me like a lot. And Metro did too, you know what I'm saying? And Zay, you know, they they all rock. So when they seen Sonny fucking with me, it was like shit, we fucking with him too, cause Sonny family, you know what I'm saying? That's how that happened. Okay, and you had a you had a an EP called Free Goo Up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Were you, had you met Gucci at that time or was he locked up? He was locked up, but like, I'm from Glenwood, you know what I'm saying? That's where I did all, everything at, you know what I'm saying? Put my, you know what I'm saying? My cousin, Young Nudy, that's my blood cousin. He from Boulder Crest. He from Paradise, right? Paradise sit right next to where Gucci from, Sun Valley, you know what I'm saying? So, nigga was just showing love to a nigga from the hood, you know what I'm saying? Who locked up, who made a name for himself. So that's how that went. But my cousin run Paradise, you know what I'm saying? So, Have you met Gucci since he got out? Nah, I talked to him. So I'm looking at the, the Red Ops video. It's at like 12 million views. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah. Crazy. I mean, do you have any idea that that song was going to do those types of numbers? Uh, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. I knew, I, I knew what it was going to do. That motherfucker hot, man. We, I ain't dropped the tape since December. I just went on the whole tour with Uzi, you know what I'm saying? Every show, they know every word to all my shit, and I ain't dropped the tape in down there a year. You know what I'm saying? So I knew that shit was got down. I knew it was gonna do what it was gonna do. Okay, well, what's, the, what's the meaning behind Red Ops? Like, what does that mean? You know, like Call of Duty Black Ops? Hmm. I'm a blood, so Red Ops. Red Ops, okay, got it. So, so you've been doing your thing, you know, that the buzz has been getting bigger, you end up getting on the double XL freshman issue. Right, 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 right. Uh, how did that come together? Uh, I mean, it's just hard work and people noticing your hard work. And then I'm independent, like I ain't signed no fucking deal. Nigga been having paper before all that. Nick Slaughter Game and Music Group. If you look on iTunes, you will see all my music is by Slaughter Gang, you know what I'm saying? That's my shit, my motherfucking label. I been having paper, so XSL just, you know what I'm saying, just seeing how your nigga was grinding, nigga came in the game last year, nigga 12 million views, all that type of shit, you know what I'm saying, folk knowing my shit word for word, every video got a million views, so they like shit, he deserved to be a freshman because he putting in the work, you know what I'm saying, so 
That's how that happened. Shout out to oh. SSL, shout out to Vanessa. I love you, you know what I'm saying? What's been the reaction after you got on the freshman issue? Um, ain't really been no reaction. Like everybody just proud. My mama was proud. She called me crying, all that type of shit. But yeah, shit man, straight. All right. So, so what do you got coming up next? Savage Mode drop July fifteenth. Me and Metro on um, project. Okay. Uh, what other uh, you know? Who else is working on the project with you outside of Metro Boomin? It's just Metro. Okay. So no, no guest verses from nobody. Yeah, I got one guest verse from my big brother, but I can't tell you who he is, but my big brother blessing me, man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him, man. That's a real nigga. Probably one of the realest rappers in the game, you know what I'm saying? But stay tuned. You're going to hear that motherfucker. That motherfucker a hit, too. <laughs>